What's up guys, how are you doing today? It's Angry Roleplay and uh, I wanted to bring you guys some news from the BlizzCon and what actually happened there. You already know or if you don't know already. So I will talk about the good things first. And the good thing is we are getting a new class and we are getting the necromancy back from Diablo 2 and Diablo 3. And this now it's a, it, it, you know it's a good thing, uh, but the bad thing is not only it will come you now later in 2017, so this now in the exact date when we will see the new class, but it also costs money. You know <laughs> it's it's exactly what what I said in uh, my recent video that I had a feeling that. We will see something new as DLC coming away for the money because we couldn't really get free expan free expansions and free stuff and you know, all for all these ten years. It just doesn't seems un seems so unrealistic. And this is exactly what happening, guys. We're gonna have a DLC called the ne uh, the Rise of the Necromancer. It will be a pack. And not only it will contain the necromancer itself, we will also get two stash tabs and the two character slots. Well, basically the same when the Reaper of Souls was introduced and the Crusader came in. It's we got absolutely the same, guys. So this is it, necromancy coming somewhere in the second part of 2017. I uh, you know. Uh, it's still in the very early stages, obviously, they didn't even have time to do a female model of the Necromancer, so at the BlizzCon uh, there was just a playable demo of the Necro with a few basic skills, there's not, there's not even you know, skill or items that, it, that he has, he just has, there was just a showcase of a few skills and that's about it guys. Uh, it's not even no, it's not even done, you know. <laughs> Basically, uh, they, they don't even have the sets, they don't even have the legendaries, they don't even have the passives. And we, I, I read the interview with Via Chang, and he said that they're gonna develop it later. Now, the first they're gonna see what skills, uh, you know, what are skills are kind of the iconic for the necromancer, along with the, with the ones that are already. Uh, announced. See, there, there's the necro, guys. There's the necro here. So, talk speaking about the necro in general. Speaking about the necro in general, he has a few few skills now, which is command skeletons, and he basically raises skeleton every five seconds uh, from the from the ground. Aside from blood, you know, Necromancer will have an essence, uh, the resource we'll call the essence, and unlike any other resources in the game, it doesn't regenerate, it, it, he can just siphon this from the enemies. And there's a channeling, channeling spell called Siphon Blood that generates this essence when you channel it at the enemy, so this is how you get your resource. Now then, Blood Rush. Uh, I'll open this one guys, each one of this. You can also check there's a huge video I uh, know uh, with the Necromancer on Blizzard's channel where they basically show all the skills. So basically this is Command Skeletons. It's nice because they actually you know point at the at the enemies and uh, skeletons attack this enemy directly. This you know, this this always lacking for the pets for the witch doctor and big daddy Dean actually asked via Cheng, uh, he, he actually saw that feature and he said wow man that's cool I uh, know what about our other pets like the fetishes and the, the zombie dog will it have the same aiming like the skeletons have and via Cheng basically said that no guys it's not gonna happen for the other pets they will stay dumb as they are now. They, we're not gonna implement this for the other pets because there are people who think that you know the uncontrollable pets is a cool thing, and we decided to leave this as is to please you know both sides of uh, <laughs> both player bases. Oh, that's stupid! But you no, know, 
basically the pets will stay dumb forever, I think. So that's the, that was the first uh, the Siphon Blood. This is the channeling spell uh, that basically gives us a, the essence. Uh, Blood Rush is like a Dishon Strike, actually. This, like, you no know, vaulting for the Necromancer. It's pretty cool. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. You know, there should be a movement skill for an every class, and it's nice. Now, Bone Spear is like exactly from Diablo 2, like exactly the same shit. <laughs> Absolutely identical. No much to talk here, guys. If you play Diablo 2. Now, Corpus, Corpus Lotion is also from Diablo 2, and there's also you now Corpus Corpus Bomb skill for Witch Doctor, and uh, this works a little different because it's you know, the slight delay here. It's like you know multi explosion, and the radius is huge. And this explosion is also based on the weapon damage, and not and not the monsters, you know, HP or something like that. So that's kind of cool, kind of cool, guys. Then Decrypify, that's basically, a, you know, a debuff that slows enemies and they take, uh, they, uh, they reduces their damage for by 20%. Blood Golem is still, you know, in the works. There's no Blood Golem shown and uh, in the game it's not available, but it's, it's in the works and it will be done at some point, I guess. It's just in the project. And the Army of the Dead was also shown, I guess. Uh, I can't tell for sure if it's shown or not, but this one is my fucking god. This is really insane. As far as I heard, there's over a hundred skeleton that rushes to the enemy and basically now kicks it ass. And it fucking destroys. This is, this is amazing. But the amount of lag it will cost on the servers, I just cannot compute this this would be ridiculous guys so this is it guys we will we will have to pay for the fucking necromancer and people starting you know uh, creating uh, great threads like this for example guys like this thread on reddit got a ton of a ton of upvotes like this Diablo 3 currently sucks dick and has been the same for the last 5 seasons. Necromancer doesn't fix that. 5,000 upvotes, guys. 5,000 upvotes, that's crazy. So basically people were pissed when they saw the Necromancer. We were happy in general, but we will have to pay for this Necromancer and there's no quality of life you know, changes behind that. Behind that. It's just a... Uh, you know a DLC with an extra with an extra necromancer no lore no nothing no absolutely anything and that's about it now about other good things that we're gonna see in the future guys and the second biggest thing shit that will happen is they are gonna recreate the original Diablo inside Diablo 3 this is will be Diablo 20th anniversary, you know, uh, thing that's happening, and the PTR will launch next week, uh, and this is where I think that we might be able to test this Diablo 1 dungeon in the Diablo 3. This is basically 16 levels of uh, the cathedral uh, that we have uh, below Tristram in the original Diablo, and for the old ruins, we need to venture down and complete the. 16 levels and kill the very original Diablo and uh, when we kill this Diablo we will get this the legendary gem the red soul shard you see this guys periodically struggle for control on leashing Gringo fight and gives 4500 weapon damage to enemies it passes through after gaining a level your resource costs are removed and cooldowns and skills are reduced by 75% for 50 seconds. Basically, this kind of you know, a gimmick useless gem uh, that looks like a red soul shard. That's exactly what happened in the very end of the first Diablo when you became you know, the Dark Wanderer and uh, inherited the soul of Diablo with the red uh, shirt inserted into your skull. That's exactly what happened. And this is actually a uh, 
trans smog and this and the legendary gem that is inserted in your helm and in here in your helm and it uh, also acts as a trans smog that's really cool the original gem is absolutely useless by the way absolutely useless but it's cool and it's uh, you know they also remade uh, uh, the Diablo to look in a way that is really old so this dungeon this 16 level dungeon will look like this it will be pixelated it will have layers of filters and some shit will be really nice it will be really old like the like the old Diablo and will be pixelated and shit but it will still be with the same characters that from Diablo 3 the same assets and overall uh, people were kind of, you know, pissed uh, with this. They saw that uh, they checked it and actually realized that the quality of this Diablo 1 remake was very poor. And actually, Blizzard put a lot of effort in it. They spent a lot of time, uh, you know, recreating this thing. That when they went overboard with this, really, uh, just for what this one dungeon, they were really passionate about this. And I really like this, but unfortunately, I think that the outcome of this is really poor. Unfortunately, most people would just would not even complete this dungeon, or they will just complete it and forget about it completely. And the amount of effort was really huge, really huge, guys. And also, this uh, dungeon. This anniversary dungeon will be will be included in the Darken and Tristram patch for free. It will be in PTR and will be on live in January. And VR Chenk also said that uh, this anniversary dungeon will be available to play only uh, when the each day each year and the anniversary will happen and the Diablo will be uh, this next anniversary will come. So we will only be able to play it every January guys it's a limited time event occurring of the month of January so guys what else there's a few interesting things that gonna happen first of all I would like to say that a lot of things happen a lot of things happen guys a lot of things happen basically and another interesting thing that will appear is the armory I will try to find it gear guys here the armory should be here somewhere oh yes so this is it guys we are getting an armory and I think we will be getting it somewhere in 2017 again uh, also so this is like you know you see these things here this is like a, a, a quick change of gear and skills you can also set skills here and this is how to equip your highest level legendary gems as well so basically a lot of people were asking that it is so hard to you know to re to uh, respect every time you go from the great rift to the normal rift and this is basically what people asking for a lot of time so you can just store you know the basic uh, sets of items and skills for the normal rift for example or for great rift on for db's farming and just immediately switch between those immediately switch between those and you can also name this and basically that's quite quite a good feature and i really liked it so we're getting this thing there, the armory, and we're getting it pretty soon, but no one knows how soon, by the way. <laughs> Another thing that we'll get, but not soon, also in 2017, is this. The crafting materials take no space now, absolutely no space now. This is a very good feature. For me personally, it will empty a, a whole, you know, stashed up of shit. And you can also see this bounty mats and the crafting mat, and you'll be also to fill uh, this with the button uh, in the canine scoop. You know, you don't need need to carry anything here. Absolutely, 
and this the the dice and everything else will just go here so basically it will be like this this is a good feature guys this is a good feature now what else the armory the crafting material the equipment mill manager and the necromancer the Dun the diablo one uh recreated in diablo 3 and there's also nice features here as well guys and what about other things what about other things and also like to say that the seasons will be coming uh seasons will be coming to the console so guys you're gonna play these ugly shit like seasons on consoles very soon very soon so this is it also they're gonna tweak the greater rifts that the density will be fixed and uh, you know the length of the rifts will be normalized so that we won't really get you know a very short rift and then it's a very long rift or we, we, the density will, will be fixed that's really good so that there won't be any super empty areas also they will they will all fill it exactly and another cool and interesting feature that is gonna happen guys is the challenge rifts challenge rifts is a new feature that will be coming next year and this is like you know a speed run challenge and will be also a leaderboard for this so for example some player goes to uh, a rift and the game snatch up his gear and his skills and basically he runs through the rift and uh, sets a record and then another player can see this on the leaderboard and he clicks and he enters the same rift with absolutely the same gear and the same skills with no paragons no augments and anything like that and he will need to uh, complete this rift faster than the guy that originally uh, completed the rift and um, he if you if you complete it faster you will get the bounty bags as a, a reward this is very interesting feature and this is what, actually what people were asking for a ton of time give us some you know training ground on area where we could compete without the caldesans augments i know huge fa th fucking thousands of paragons that's a cool feature and that's a, like an area where paragon doesn't matter where the augments doesn't matter and even the legendary gems it doesn't matter because you will play the exactly same building with exactly same gear that the, the other guy played and you will just link, need to learn the layout because this rift will be absolutely identical for every player and uh, if you complete it faster you will get the bounty bags and some other possible rewards for this so this is looks like an you know, all speed running contest for me that's pretty cool and unique but this I'm not hyped about this I'm not gonna do this I'm not interested in this but for many players out there this looks like that it's interesting guys we will also get two new areas guys two new areas uh, let me see yeah the shrouded moors and the temple of firstborn this is like the ruins of session what we got in the previous blizzcon patch and um, unfortunately there will be no act absolutely no act no you know extra bosses no extra lore no no expansion no diablo 4 no no big something big we just get new tone zones and the necromancer and the weird thing is that we're not gonna get it soon no one even knows when we're gonna get it this even the challenge rifts the new feature will be coming next year along with this so, so basically these these are still under in development we don't even have them for now guys what we gonna have in the future is this guys i will tell you exactly i will tell you exactly guys so what are we gonna have in the next 
hatch. There's the Diablo recap here. Come on, that that's Golem, that's the army of the dead. Basically, uh, the new patch is coming next week, guys. Is uh, two point three point three, and it will be coming on PTR next week, and we'll get six new items reward. And there are two items that are pretty interesting, guys. Pretty interesting, guys. I uh, oh this this is it guys this is it uh, first the item changes saffron drop increases overpowered damage by 50% per enemy a hit on the previous overpower max 20 enemies so overpower gets a serious increase with this item guys next the man on heal enemy stun with paralysis will take 2700 weapon damage is lightning now there's some weak ring for the wizard and that's interesting guys faithful memory each enemy hit by a falling sword increases the damage of bass hammer by 50 percent for five seconds oh that's interesting that's a further buff for uh, the bass hammer the hammer didn't become stronger and this thing this thing will actually take a spot of the furnace in the cube guys because that's a major 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 buff and we have to get rid of the furnace we, we still will have johannes on us uh, the furnace will go out of the cube and the falling sword and the faithful memory will go in the cube guys that's a massive damage increase here for hermidin so hermidin holy shit it will be crazy Rabbit Strike, Spirit Pandas that teleport you while Epiphany is active are also mimicked on a distant target for free. That's weird, that's some weird shit here guys. I don't even understand how how good will it be for the monk. It doesn't even, you know, uh, it doesn't even look really good for the monk. Now Hellcast Wastegard. Grenades have a chance to bounce 5 times, dealing an additional 50% damage on each bounce. Uh, 800 on the final bounce. Now that's interesting. Maybe the Grenade Demon Hunter will be fine now. You know, it, will be, it has been tweaked in the previous patches, but it was still weak. But maybe this belt will make it stronger now. Let's see. Now the most interesting for me. The Barber, instead of dealing direct damage, your Spirit Barrage now accumulates uh, on the target. When you stop channeling, it explodes, dealing 250% of the accumulated damage within 15 yards. Holy shit, guys. So, so my, uh, you know, Juicy Fire, my Juicy Fire build might be crazy good. Where is the Where's the juicy fire? So this build guys, this build the juicy fire uh might be except exceptionally good here. God, I need I need to play with this as soon as I get the barber and uh we can get rid of the wood juicer, I think, and uh, we can equip the barber or, or maybe equip this uh, maybe equip this and use the barber in hand. That's interesting. That's that's like you know an explosion with a 15-year radius. It's really cool. It's, it's interesting, guys. Now for the bad things. Oh, just a moment, guys. Uh, on PTR we will get this. The anniversary event, so we will be able to, we will be able to play Diablo One and Diablo Three. The new legendaries, the six that I want to describe, they will fall on PTR. The Mystic UE, but that's not important. And the Rift of Promos. The Rift of Promos will be the density, and uh, the the areas will be fixed. That when no 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 corridors, empty corridors. We will see this on PTR. 
and later later somewhere in the next year we will get the armory the necromancer the challenge rift the craftings and the new zone so basically no one fucking knows where we're gonna have this no one knows 2017 you know it's a lengthy term and uh, basically the dev said is somewhere in the second part of the year so it's second part of 2017 so it's like six months for six for six months we will be having nothing absolutely nothing and it's really just justin guys because you know they announce so many features and we're getting nothing of this we're just getting six items and a little improved great drifts for the next season and that's about it that's about it and the anniversary went and uh, everyone will get bored with this dungeon immediately I think so for the next season we oh, we get uh, pretty much nothing guys I know I, I know I uh, perfectly can understand why people are pissed look at this look at the amount of upvotes here look at the amount of pissed threats pissed threats show that low priority uh, and this and this and all of these guys all of this all of this uh, and basically people are transitioning to path of the exile as well and this is quite underwhelming a huge letdown people very frustrated overall with the things announced at the blizzcon not because that the, the core no problems of the diablo are not fixed the paragon will not get a cap i 100 percent can support this uh this was um and not support but i confirm this i 100 percent confirm this paragon will not get a remake in any way paragon will stay the same endless power creep uh the legendary drop rates will be the same the sets will be the same necromancer will also have the set will be a two or one or two sets when we'll appear it and the most frustrating thing is that around a six months ahead we will have no, we will have absolutely nothing a couple of useless seasons ahead guys a couple of useless seasons and there's lineage eternal ahead there's a lost arc ahead the new legend ahead and the path of exile does tremendous amount of patches and expansions and uh, leaks and so this and basically and in, for diablo we need to wait for six months to get a single class and we still have to pay for this shit now how good is this guys i don't i don't understand what blizzard is doing they were not even in time to create you know a whole set class for the blizzcon they haven't even done any legendaries or sets for the necromancer they haven't even done the new areas they haven't done an expansion they haven't done new x all they did is to this rework free legendaries for us to play in the next season so that's it guys it's so frustrating and looks like obviously the diablo is dying and the necromancer obviously can't revive the diablo tree to glory and that's exactly what this thread shows guys for, uh, for almost 5,000 upvotes uh, be, uh, and Diablo 3 currently sucks dick. That's, that's you know, the frustration thread, guys. That's crazy. So that's about it, guys. My thoughts on the BlizzCon and the BlizzCon news so far. That's quite a lengthy video, right, guys? So, see you soon. Uh, I'm almost done with the season 8 and we'll be recording another video pretty soon, guys. So, see you soon. Stay tuned. Watch the, watch the Necro, you know, video uh, uploaded by Blizzard and that's quite, you know, cool, but still a letdown for all Diablo players out there. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.